for this trick, we can have any card selected. So let's say the spectator selects this card. Now, I don't want to see it. So there's your selection, and go ahead and remember that for me. Once they're done, I would instruct the spectator to place their card on top of the deck, and then they can give the deck a cut, or actually I can. So just like that, I would say, okay, so your card is here somewhere in the middle, and you find your card, I'm going to need a helper card. So all I'm going to do is snap my fingers, not once, but twice. And if you see, you'll see the one snap was for a helper card. The second snap was for the helper card to be visible, so I had no trouble seeing it. I would ask the spectator their card, and they would say, the six of spades. I would say, okay, that's pretty good there. So let's take the six of spades and place it there. So now we're going to need another selection, but we're going to do this a bit different because I don't want you to choose a card close to the six of spades. So let's say they call out stop, and I will show them this card. I would say, go ahead and remember that for me. And once they do that, I'll place it back on top. I'll say, okay, now let's see if we can find your second selection. So if I snap, let's go through the deck here and see if I can find your selection. And I don't think I see any card. How about two snaps, because that's what it took the first time. We go through and we still don't see any card. I would say, well, there's actually one card that's been here the entire time. I would ask the spectator what their second selection was. They would say what it was, and I would say the five of hearts. That is the tutorial. Let's learn how this is done. So the first thing you're going to need is any deck of cards. It truly doesn't matter. So in this case, I chose a red bicycle deck. Now within this red bicycle deck, you're going to choose any card. Now I just took out a random card by dribbling, and I got the five of hearts. So you're going to take out the red five of hearts, or any card. Go into a different deck. So since this is a red bicycle deck... I went into a blue bicycle deck, and I took out that five of hearts. So now you have, like, two duplicates. So when you turn the deck over, remember the color of the deck, in this case, red. So you're going to take your red five of hearts, place that on the bottom, and then you'll take your different colored five of hearts, so in this case it's blue, and place that on the bottom. So on the bottom, you have two different, well, not two different. You have the same card, so duplicate five of hearts, except they're different color. And then you have the whole deck. So now you're all set to go. So when you go up to your spectator, if you want, you can do a riffle shuffle. Just don't flash that blue card. So one way you could do this is a tight riffle. Just make sure you keep it on the bottom. Another way is when I do the riffle, I use my thumb. I lift up about half of the pack. And then you can riffle like that. And I'll keep your two cards on the bottom. And then you can do any false cuts you want. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> now you want them to choose a card. You don't want them to choose one of the bottom two cards. And you don't want a flash. So you can riffle down, you can do a one-hand fan, you can spread the deck like this. You can even have them lift up, just make sure they don't lift up near the bottom. Any way you want them to choose a card, you can. Now you're not going to see this card. You can if you want, but I don't like seeing it. <clears throat> so in this case, you have the king of clubs. 
All you're going to do is have them place their card on top of the deck. You are going to give it one cut. Now, if you want to give it a swing cut, you can do that. If you just want to cut the deck on the table, you can do that. But either way you do it, you're now setting this up. So let me show you here. You're setting up your red duplicate, the 5, your blue duplicate, the 5, and then their selection. So essentially it's going to look like their card is the only blue card. So once you complete that cut, <clears throat> you can do anything you want, but I like to say, now, I have to find a card in here that will help me locate your card. So all I'm going to do is just give it a snap. Go through, and you can show all of these are red. <clears throat> when you get to the blue card, this is important. All the cards above the blue card. So this is the blue card, and these are the cards below it. These are the cards on top of the blue card. These go to the bottom, because if you remember, one of your duplicates is on the bottom. So now you're left with that blue five of hearts, and then their selection. So now all you have to do is a double lift. Now I have a whole video on double lifts, so I will link that down below. So you just do a double lift while asking them their card. They'll say the king of clubs. Be like, that's pretty impressive. Now let's do something magicians usually don't do. Let's repeat the trick twice. So you're going to turn over the double, and they th think this is the king. It's not the king, it's the five. So now you can go into force in the card, or you can do another false cut. It's totally up to you. But all you're going to do is a Hindu shuffle. So I'm not going to go in depth about in, about the shuffle. Because there's plenty of tutorials out there. So I'll link one down below. But essentially this is how I do it. I hold the deck like this. Middle and ring on one side. Thumb on the other. Pinky on the bottom. Index is curled. Use your other hand. Come over with your thumb, middle, and ring. Take off about 5 to 10 cards. So they're in an elevated grip. Open up your fingers and they'll drop. Do that again. And they'll drop. And continue doing that until they say stop. Now when they say stop, remember these will be messy. I take this half, I turn it like this. Make sure not to flash that five. I tap them I say, okay, here's your selection. Now it's that red five. So you're going to leave it on the bottom because... It's going to be changing colors here. So once they remember that, you can place it back down. And now you can do anything you want. So I said, okay, now when I snap my fingers, let's see if we can find your card here. So you go through, and you're not going to find their card. You say, okay, well, because we snapped two times the, for your first selection and it worked, how about we snap another time? You go through and it's not going to work, but you s draw attention to this card. It's perfect if they're holding it, if it's under their shoe, if it's in the box where they can see it. Anyway, so they know that you can't tamper with it. Be like, there's one selection, or one card here. What was your selection the second time? They'll say the five of hearts or whatever it was, and you can show them the five of hearts. So that is the, uh, was a trick for today. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another trick. Bye.